Beep, beep. What is up, ninjas? Name of this video, how to make chords like cashmere. Now, this is going to be a great video for you guys. We're going to go over layering again. Now, you guys have seen, if you guys haven't seen the video on how to layer leads properly, we're going to be doing that here today. However, this video is not about music theory, guys. It's not how to make chords that sound like cashmere. It's how to make chords that hit like cashmere, that hit like bass jack or shit like that. Now, there's going to be things, and we're going to be utilizing the new sound bank by Marcelo She called, you know, My Sound is Your Sound. If you guys haven't checked out the demo, it's the video before this one. Make sure to check it out. Support the sound bank. You help me because then I can buy new camera equipment. And who knows, maybe I can start making more funnier videos for you guys. It's just that I don't have, like, the lighting, so I can't really go to certain places and film to make funnier videos, right? Anyways, let's get started with this tutorial right here. I have pretty much some chord midis from Cashmere's new song with Tiger Lily, which I'm going to make a video on because there's some controversy revolving the drop however i think it's so much bullshit but anyways let's go with this first off is this is the melody we're not using this patch by the way it's just on there for god knows why So those are the MIDI information we are going to use, and let's get started, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is there's already a patch in here called Festival Chords, so we're going to go with that one, okay? Now, the difference between Cashmere Chords and other chords is that a lot of people tend to just... <coughs> <coughs> Coffee fit, man. A lot of people just tend to, like, group Super Sauce together. <coughs> And that's not the way to go about it. You want one layer of super sauce and then the rest is going to be different. Now, I'm going to take this approach because I used to make progressive trance, as some of you guys know. And I, I got into this phase where I was like, I need to make perfect progressive trance. And I watched a lot, a lot of videos, hidden tutorials that you can barely find out there on the internet nowadays. The Injuna Beats forum was really good too. And where people talked about how to layer super sauce properly. And I think Audion explained it best. A lot of people have this conception that, oh, you're going to have to layer a shit ton of super sauce together. Well, that is not the case. The first thing we're going to do is use this patch, which is going to be our main patch. Now, this is the way it's going to sound like right now. We're going to lower the octave down, though. So the patch itself sounds good, but we don't want it to be this kind of reverb -y. So the first thing we do is notch down the reverb. Okay, the next thing is the release. It's a bit too high. Like that, that's perfect there. Now, it sounds a bit dry. The next thing we do want is multi-band compression, guys. This is going to make it so that it, boom. Okay, now the next thing we are going to add to this is, again, maybe a little bit more reverb. Okay, now the next thing is I'm going to turn this EQ off because we're going to do EQing on our own. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, since this is our main patch, we kind of want to you know get rid of some notes here now i'm gonna leave the bottom the top note and the bottom note on this but uh, this is has to come off so i'm gonna duplicate this and then this one i'm just gonna get rid of this so the center two notes pretty much are gonna go now this is gonna be occupied by another layer which is not gonna be a super saw but it has to be sort of like a saw or a sound so what we're gonna do is get rid of these right here and then um, we don't want to get rid of the bottom one, so be careful when you do this. All right, here we have three notes, I believe, in the middle, so we're going to get rid of them. Here we have two, here we have two, and then here we have four. Just get rid of it. Now it sounds like this. All right, so I want this to be my wide layer, so I'm going to add an S1 imager to this. And you guys know I'm a big fan of the S1. I use it almost on everything I want to make wide. Just be careful with it. Too many of them will cause problems on the face. <clears throat> now I can maybe <clears throat> put this down one more octave. We're going to have it like this now. And now we move on to the next one. Now the next one, and remember, we have already these two being covered, so we're going to get rid of these. And now we have two of these that <coughs> need to be covered here. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to get rid of these down in the high ones. Yeah. 
I don't even know if that's... Yeah, this is the low ones there. There you go. Now this sound, we're going to use another one, which can be something that <coughs> works with it. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Let's try maybe this. Okay, not that one. That's more of another type. Not Swedish chords. Those are very cool sounds, but not for this. What I'm thinking about doing maybe this soon. Okay, these are going to be too harsh. Too harsh, too harsh. Alright, so this is gonna be a layer. However, we're gonna make it so that's only one. So let's do this. What we're gonna do is we are gonna duplicate this again so we have these. Now, this one will play the middle top there, and then we can have more like. And I know it, it looks very kind of time consuming, guys, and it is, but if you do it from the start, you shouldn't be having to do this. I'm only doing this now because, yeah. Okay, that sounds not gonna work. It's too, yeah, like, it's just standing out like a fucking sword thumb. I think what will work, I know this bank doesn't have many, but we can try this. Okay, now this one will cover the other one. Now this one, we're gonna give it more of a. Hmm, let's see. Um, Okay, I know you. Now we're going to EQ these, so we know this is on the sides. Okay, what, what I'm going to do with this one is EQ it with an EQ8. We're going to get rid of the low because we're still going to add one more thing to this. Okay, so there we go. This is done, huh? Now this one, we're going to EQ. We're going to get rid of the bottom and maybe a little bit of the top. Now this one, what we're going to do is EQ as well, but we're going to EQ. Now the last thing we're going to add is just the bottom part, which is going to be pretty much, you know, the base here. This is going to get another serum added to it and we're just gonna add like a sub or a bass it's up to you I would go with either a sub or a saw type of bass on the bottom let's try this one My bad guys, I'm trying to group them right now, so control, control, and then control G. So 
So now from here you have to decide. What layers you want, what layers coming up. And now the next thing you do is to compress this together. You can OTT it or you can, you know, go with something else. It's totally up to you. Now the next thing is that I forgot to do is take off the reverb. Don't forget that. Take off. Now the reason you want to take the reverb off is because we're going to have, again, four reverbs going and we just want one to unify everything. And we want one compressor on everything to unify it together. Now, you're going to be going like, why do I need to have these other two layers? And that's just because they're going to be adding harmonics. Obviously, the main sound is going to be the super saw. However, you don't want to layer five super saws together because, again, they all sound the same. And just, why don't you just increase the volume? What you want to do is you want to layer the saws with something else that's maybe mono. You could have gone with a normal saw, too, if you wanted to. But the whole thing here is that you don't want to get sounds that sound the same. You want to get different type of sounds to fucking fill up the frequency. And then what you get is pretty much something that sounds full. The last step is the OTT and maybe a bit of reverb. Now with the OTT you can let go. And then maybe the reverb you can kind of let it go as well with high, maybe a little bit size. And then if you were to add uh, multi-band compressor to the master, this is how it's going to sound like after you do everything, you know, let's say the track is done. There's still a few elements missing. However, this is just showing you guys that this is the proper way of pretty much making super saws sound fat. Um, you don't want to layer five fucking super saws for Nexus together. It's just not a good idea. <laughs> And that's pretty much going to be the video, guys. Now, the Marcelo Chic soundbag, as you guys saw, has a lot of good sounds. And it's always good when you guys um, support what I do because it keeps the channel going. I'm not going to lie. Or else, you know, I would have to get a real job and then I'm going to fucking, you know, not be able to make videos anymore. But I'm not bribing you. Don't worry. I will still make videos even if I have to get a job. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, this video is kind of helpful for you guys. Hopefully, it gets you in this new mentality that you don't need to layer five super sauce to get a fat super sauce sound. Try layering it with other stuff. I could even add a plux here if I wanted to. But this is going to be the video. Pretty much, hopefully, you take away some important information from it. We didn't get that advanced on it. Go watch How to Layer Leads Properly video for the advanced version. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a good one.